time, weather, and... Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. It is day four in listening to various versions of the song Solitaire. Now on Monday we listened to the original version recorded by Neil Sedaka in 1972 for his album Solitaire. On Tuesday we heard a live version by Sissel who was accompanied by no other than Neil Sedaka on piano. Sissel did record a studio version of the song and released it on one of her albums. On Wednesday we heard Elvis Presley. Elvis recorded the song in 1976 and released it on his album from Elvis Presley Boulevard, Memphis, Tennessee. So we have not heard a single version of this song. Each one of the versions we've heard so far were only released on an album. Well, two more versions were recorded in 1972, one by Tony Christie and the other by Petula Clark. But those two only uh, were released on their albums. They weren't released as singles. So, so far, this great song has not been released as a single. It wasn't until February of 1973 that it was released by a rock group. And this really surprised me. It was The Searchers. I did not realize they did a cover of this song. Now, The Searchers are a pop rock band from the UK that were very popular in the mid-60s. And they were a British invasion band over into the USA and had a good number of hit singles. So this surprised me. Now, I don't think the single was released in the U.S., but it was released in the U.K. and did not chart. It, 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 it flopped. So that, that was, I think, disappointing for that band. It wasn't until the autumn of 1973 that a single of this song actually charted. And the single was by... Andy Williams. He recorded Solitaire in 1973, released it on an album, get this, called Solitaire, so it was matching up to the Neil Sedaka version so far, and it was also released as the first single from that album and reached number four on the UK singles chart. It was a knockout hit for Andy Williams, and that's what he's trying to do. So he released an album called Solitaire, in 1973, and he was starting to wane popularity. Um, he was very popular from, let's say, I think about 1961, 62 to early 70s. And I, I remember my dad had a lot of Andy Williams albums, and he would play them all the time. So I, I'm, I'm very familiar with Andy Williams. Um, but he, he was starting to wane popularity, so he thought he would change up how he recorded, who he recorded with, and the songs he recorded. So he picked a lot of the major uh, players um, in the industry, Klaus Fuhrman on bass, Nicky Hopkins on, on piano, Jim Keltner on drums. So he's picking up all of these rock artists to do his backing tracks for the song uh, songs on this album, Solitaire, to give it a little bit more upbeat sound to the current times. He also picked songs that were timely as well. I mean, he did My Love a cover of a Paul McCartney and Wings song. He he did uh, That Is All, a cover of a George Harrison song. So he was trying to, I think, capture some of the young audience by, by doing covers of these more popular artists' songs and then using uh, uh, people playing instruments that were very popular at the time as well. Well, Solitaire is one of those songs he did. And like I said, he released it as a single. Now, he... Uh, from what I understand, changed some of the lyrics of the song so that it was more personal to him. Uh, I, I, he was going through hard times with his wife. Uh, they were looking at, at a divorce. That was Claudine uh, Logette. And um, so he was having some personal problems, and this song really spoke to him. But he wanted to be like coming from him and, and not like it's a third person. So... His version is a little bit different. He changed up the lyrics 
So I'm not exactly sure where those lyrics are changed up because I've never heard this version of the song before. I was surprised to hear that Andy Williams did a version and it was a hit. So I wanted to do it as one of the cover versions. So here we go with Andy Williams doing his version of Solitaire. That was a huge hit for him in the UK. I'll tell you, I, I just love this song. It always brings tears to my eyes. I don't know why it, it just does. I think it's the way it's it's performed. It's just such a sad song. But uh, yeah, he did change up the lyrics. If you're listening to it, he's talking about me and my, you know, that he'll never love it. I'll never love again. And and so he did change up those lyrics to take it from the third person to the first person, which is kind of cool. The the song uh, instrumentally is really really good too he starts out with that that tinker type piano um with a little bit of uh um uh hi-hat i think was in there and that and then he had the bass guitar come in and then as he started going into the refrain the heavy drums come in i mean just again the 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 instrumental part of this song is is just so good and i think i was hearing some woodwinds in there too and i think every version that that uh, we've had so far had had woodwinds in it which may be part of the song and, and it's necessary but yeah very cool i love his voice i mean um i remember my dad playing andy williams elms and, and it wasn't like i was i was you know i was a i was heavy into psychedelic music and and hard rock and things of that nature and my dad would put on Andy Williams and it would be so different from what I listened to. But it wasn't like I, I was disgusted by it. It was I, I, I really appreciated his voice. He had such a nice, smooth, sweet voice. And so this song is in, in my mind is kind of a little bit of a change, uh, not knowing that much about Andy Williams, but I would think is a little bit of a change for him because it's so moody. It's 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 such a sad song. And and he's putting that that emphasis on pain and how he sings this. Very cool. Very good performance. Love it so far. Let's keep on going.
sorry, I have to stop it right here. A couple of things I want to say. You hear a steel guitar in there? <laughs> it's like, I don't think I've ever heard a steel guitar in solitaire before. So that's kind of cool. I like the fact that they added that. It gave it kind of that weepy sound. You know, like the steel guitar gives a weepy sound. But the other thing is how tremendous that, that orchestration is in here. I mean, it just is building up and it builds up when he starts singing the refrain and it's it's building up with his voice as he's getting his voice louder and higher in that refrain. Love the strings. They add so much to here. But I thought it's kind of cool to hear a steel guitar in here. <laughs> that was, or slide guitar. It's either a slide guitar or a steel guitar. I think it was a steel guitar, but sounded awesome. So let's keep on going. that too that the ending is so different on this version I, i've never heard that before but he he talks about you know every road he takes it takes him down and then the song kind of goes out with with the uh with the string section but did you hear those cellos in there that was so cool and and that that they repeated those cellos a couple times in that outro where it was just really loud you know <laughs> the cello sound it was great it was great i i this was a tremendous version of the song i can see why it, it did go to number four I, I i think it charted in the u.s too but not on billboard's hot 100 singles chart it was on billboard's easy listening chart that that uh he charted i can't remember exactly um where it got but it was pretty high in 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 the charts on the easy listening chart so this was fantastic i i again i never heard this song be this version before I, you know, I don't follow Andy Williams, so when I saw that Andy Williams did a version, it was like, yeah, do we want to do that? And then I started reading about it, and, and why he recorded it, and how he recorded it, and that it, you know, it, it got high in, in the UK singles charts. I thought, hey, we're, we're going to do this, even though I've never heard it before, we're going to do this one, because it sounds like it's it's really good, and it is really good. Andy Williams really knocked this one out of the park. He did a fantastic job on solitaire loved his voice too his voice was so good and and it did make it a little bit stronger as a personal song when he changed the lyrics to be first person where he's saying me i you know um myself it was it was very very more it was very very like uh he he could almost feel what he was singing he, he came across like this was he was in pain this this was a very painful time for him great version I love the backing track. Love the 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 strings in this thing. The strings are incredible. Um, hey, what can I say? <laughs> if you don't like this, you don't like. If you like solitaire and you don't like this version, I don't know what to say because it was it was it was dynamite. I really really like this version. So if you liked it, and I'm hoping you did, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. If you have any comments about Andy Williams doing the song solitaire, put it in the comments below. That'd be really appreciated also i'm gonna take a link to this video which i really like um it looked like they had taken um a, a version of andy williams actually doing the song live on stage removed the audio put overlaid the the studio track from the album or the single 
and then they didn't have enough video so then they kind of you know cut over to this cover of what i'm guessing is the song sheet for solitaire so i thought the video was pretty good though i i, I kind of like watching the artist perform the song and and seeing the facial expressions and 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 the movements they make so i thought that was really cool so i'm going to take a link to this video and put it in my description below so if you want to watch it again and not have me interrupt it just pick on that link it will open up and play all the way through i think you'll do that because it's a great song i'm also going to take a link to the channel that uploaded this video put it in my description below so if you want to check out that channel they may have some other really cool stuff out there go ahead that 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 would be fun now have you subscribed to driving with todd you got to do it we're having a lot of fun on this channel we're doing a lot of different things and like this week where we're just covering one song but by wonderful artists if you if if you enjoy all this kind of stuff go below this video i'm sure you still have it open and hit the subscribe button that's all it takes if you go over here ring the bell you'll get updates to my latest videos this was great i did not expect Andy Williams to be so powerful of a singer on this song. I didn't know exactly what to expect, but this was tremendous. I loved it. Put a huge smile on my face, some tears in my eyes, and I'm hoping it put a huge smile on your face and maybe some tears in your eyes. And peace out, baby. <laughs>